Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, on a lighter note, when my brother and friend was leading the debate, I actually thought it was an artificial intelligence system that was making the very beautiful, powerful speech. Having said that, this time yesterday, the Committee on ICT and Cyber Security was holding a public hearing on National Digital Economy and E-Governance Bill, which report I hope to lay anytime soon. Part of that bill, which will resonate with me, is the fact that artificial intelligence is on all of us here. Every time you use Google Map, you are using artificial intelligence. Every time you start to cipher something, and suggestions are being made to you, as to those things that are relevant to you, it is artificial intelligence that is at work. When you pick your phone, and you look at it, and it tells you the temperature around your area, it is artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence is not something that is in the future. It is already here with us. And as a country with over 200 million people, 70% of whom are youth with an average age of 16.9 uh, year, almost 17 years, we stand at the cusp of revolution to take full advantage of our youthful population. When other continents are aging, in Europe and America, our own population is at its very best very useful. Indeed, those for whom artificial intelligence will mean a lot to, they are not here. They are somewhere in the rural Omoekiti, where my friend comes from, and some other part of the world. The only way we can take them into civilization and make them part of the global village is to provide the capacity for them in artificial intelligence. I therefore rise to endorse, to fully support and recommend as well that for all of us as well, the best way to empower our constituents is not just by giving them some material things, but by providing them with capacity building in this new emerging technology. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I fully support so this motion. Your time is, is, is up, Mr. Thank you very much, Senator. Thank